Hello guys and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. Today I'm going to introduce you to three new uh, widgets. Yes, you heard right, three, not one. And this happens because uh, the widgets which I'm talking about, let's say two of them depends of one of those three. If one of those three doesn't exist, you cannot work or create the other two. Do you remember when we were talking about spin buttons, for example, and uh, other widgets which needed uh, an adjustment or a range? If you don't, this means you don't didn't saw my playlist, so just go back and check uh, adjustment, range and uh, spin button playlist. Because as you already know, uh, to work with them we had some uh, adjustment information or range information. So to make it work, to make a spin button work, we had those, uh, we had to use those two um, objects like uh, adjustment and uh, range for them. This is the same, the same thing uh, which I'm going to introduce you in this video and the next coming video because there will be some of them because I need to create three, uh, three uh, different widgets for you. It is the case of the GTK stack. Let me introduce it to you. So the GTK stack, as you see, we have a picture here, which we, what you might uh, create with the help of GTK stack. It has a couple of functions and of course, uh, some properties as well, child properties, of course it has also and of course some types and values, information and says description. The GTK stack widget is a container which only shows one of its children at a time. That's very important for you to understand. In contrast to GTK notebook, GTK stack does not provide a means for user to change the visible child. Instead, the GTK stack switcher widget can be used with stack to provide this functionality. Well, I'm not, uh, let me go back. GTA stock does not provide a means for users to change the visible child. Well, I'm not kind of agree with it. It, it happens, uh, especially what are you trying to create with it? If you try to create a, a small game where you want to change some things, or where you, maybe you want to create a tic-tac-toe where you want to switch the information, I'm sure in a moment or something or whatever then it is the right thing which you need. You need a GTK stack and definitely not a GTK stack switcher. Anyway, we have CSS nodes, which says that its name is a stack. So what exactly I'm talking about, I'm going to show you, I'm going to introduce you first the stack, which is right here. We have here an application, which has a window, of course. It has a container inside it, which is a grid. I put inside the grid two objects. The first one is a button, which is this one right here. It, a click, it is a click button. And of course, we have uh, as well uh, another widget, which is, as you already noticed, it is an another button, which uses a stock, which use also a phone as its icon. Now watch what's happened when I click the button. You see how it's changed? Well, this behavior is different from what they are showing you here, isn't it? The settings go, if you go, you see now we have also an entry right here where you can type something. And of course we had some headsets and watch what happens now when I click on the headset. It is switching to audio headphones, you see? And it goes back. If I click again and I try to click on the phone, it won't switch from left to right or from right to left. It will switch from down to top and from the top to down. So basically, these kind of things you can implement when you are working with GTK stack. Now, let me introduce you the second and the third uh, widgets which I was talking about. And the widgets are GTK stack switcher and GTK stack sidebar. As you see, the sidebar has a picture right here with two tabs and some container right here. And of course, takes has only three functions, one, two, three, which is the uh, sidebar new which you created. You have a sidebar where you set a stack. 
if I'm going to click on it, you will notice that you need a GTK stack. So basically for those three functions, you definitely need a GTK stack. Without GTK stack, you cannot do nothing with this widget. The same story goes for our stack switcher. As you already see, it is also the same story. We have the same picture right here, which indeed it is what exactly they mean here it is where you need a GTK stack switcher to reach or to have this behavior. And like I already noticed with you together, we have only three function. And of course the second function is the same function, only that this one, this time it's a switcher, it's not a sidebar and says it needs a GTK stack. So without a stack, it's dead. We cannot work with this widget. We have properties, we have implement interface and so on. We have description that the GTK stack switcher widget acts as a controller for a GTK stack. So it shows a row of buttons to switch between the various pages of the associated stack widget. All the content of the button comes from the child properties, whatever. Okay, uh, when we are going to come in this point, we are going to check exactly what this thing does. But let me show you uh, with an example, this my friends, it is that thing which is called, let me put it right here, GTK stack switcher. What do we have here? To, here we have a lot of things. We have at first a button, which is a phone button, and it is together with the phone button. If I click the webcam now, we have a webcam. If I click the headphone, a headset, we have the headset, headphone. You see, we are switching the tabs. Of course, we have an entry as well. And one thing which is very important for you to notice is that watch what happens when I'm going to click on the uh, computer button right here. You see it changing its transition and goes all the way until the phone. You see now we are on the phone tab. If I click back, it goes all the way back to the computer. This is this behavior I try to um, creating myself and uh, this is uh, what we are going to do when we are going to learn the GTK stack switch. This is the information which you need to know it and to understand it. Okay, that being said, uh, this is the GTK um, stack switcher. And the next thing is the GTK sidebar, which looks like this, as you already noticed, has some tabs and the container, the main container, which belongs to the tab you are clicking on it and it's going to say the GTK stack sidebar enables you to quickly and easily provide a consistent sidebar object for your user interface. And that stack bar which I'm talking about, the sidebar, sorry, which I'm talking about, um, it looks like this. As you can see, it's pretty familiar with this one. So we have a phone, which is right here. We have a webcam, we have a headset. We have a headphone and of course we have the computer as well. What I like on, th and on this one, it is because all this story, it is a little bit complicated. We are going to talk at the moment when we are coming to this um, uh, widget. But one with one thing which you need to know is that uh, it, use, it is using um, a scrolled window as well. And of course we can scroll all these tabs like I'm doing right now. Okay. So that being said, this is um, enough for the first video, which was an introduction to those three widgets. Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors. And until next time, see you guys.